What's going on, everybody? It's Eric from CPT Nuggets, and I'm here to tell you that we have a new intro to digital forensics course for us to join together and learn everything about. Now, you may be wondering right out of the gate, what is digital forensics? Well, I'm here to tell you that it's the scientific study of data on different digital devices to help us build a history of use and also be able to do neat little things like recover data. But more importantly, and down to the brass tacks, it's the examination of all digital equipment to help us understand the actual use that went into the output, meaning we have a result, we need to know how that result came about. And we can dive into many different aspects of devices, be it a computer, a tablet, a phone, a laptop, or even my Legos. And you'll have to take the course here at CBT Nuggets to figure out what I'm talking about with my Legos. But even our cars, our trucks, or even the refrigerator can have data hidden inside of it and be accidentally deleted, where you need a digital forensics expert to be able to go through and recover that data for you. There's all sorts of different things that it can be used for, but primarily people associate it with law enforcement like your favorite TV shows that cover all the different spies and gadgets that help you recover data for those different law enforcement organizations. And that's true. We do a lot of work with the special three-letter agencies and local law enforcement. But there are a lot of organizations out there, private organizations, that utilize digital forensics internally to be able to help identify patterns of misconduct between employees, insider threats, security violations, and also recover deleted data just in case it accidentally happened. So definitely take a look at some of the stuff that we have here on CBT Nuggets, like the Intro to Digital Forensics course, and some of the other great content that we have here, and I will see you soon. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.